Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome back to SK Electronic Prep. Today, we will learn all about resistivity. The resistivity of a substance is defined as the resistance of a cube of that substance with unit length edges, with the assumption that current flows normal to opposite faces and is dispersed uniformly across them. At a given temperature, electrical resistivity is defined as the electrical resistance per unit length and cross-sectional area. Resistivity is a measurement of a material's resistance to electrical conduction at a certain size. Resistivity can also be referred as particular electrical resistance or volume resistivity but these words are less commonly used. Although all materials oppose the flow of electrical current, some are better than others at conducting it. It is a quantity that allows you to compare how different materials allow or resist current passage. Materials that conduct electrical current easily are called conductors and have a low resistivity. Those that do not conduct electricity easily are called insulators and these materials have a high resistivity. The resistivity of different materials plays a major role in selecting the materials used for electrical wire, within many electronic components including resistors, integrated circuits and many more. Materials are categorized according to their level of resistivity. This table lists their resistivity values. Electrolytes and semiconductors behave like an insulator without doping. The resistivity of these materials varies with the level of doping and acquires a wide range of resistivity levels. Insulators have a very high value of Rho as they do not conduct electricity and their range is 10 raised to the power 16. Metals have small values of resistivity in the range of 10 raised to the power minus 8. Superconductors are those materials that are considered to be great conductors of electricity and therefore acquires zero value of resistivity. To make resistivity values more significant and meaningful, specific units are used and there are formulas for calculating it. In a perfect world, the studied materials cross-section and physical composition are homogeneous across the sample, and the electric field and current density are parallel and constant throughout. Because many resistors and conductors have a uniform cross-section and flow of electric current and are constructed of a single material. Let's understand it through this relation. Here, the electrical resistivity rho is equal to R into a divided by L where L is the length of the specimen, R is the electrical resistance of a uniform specimen of the substance, A is the size of the specimen's cross-section area. The resistance can be controlled by adjusting a range of various parameters, as shown in the equations. By raising the length of the sample or decreasing the cross-sectional area while keeping the material resistivity constant, the sample's resistance can be increased. The resistivity equations also show that increasing the material's resistivity increases the resistance, assuming the same dimensions. Likewise, lowering the resistivity lowers the resistance. The ohm meter is the SI unit for electrical resistivity. The Greek letter rho is widely used to represent it. Although the ohm's meter, the SI resistivity unit, is commonly used, numbers are sometimes expressed in ohm centimeters. For example, if a solid cube of material with dimensions of 1 meter cube contains sheet connections on two opposite faces that do not contribute any resistance, and the resistance between the contacts is 1 ohm, then the material's resistivity is 1 omega ohm. The resistivity approach can be used to identify longitudinal and lateral fluctuations in underlying electrical characteristics. At the same time, electrical resistivity can also be utilized to identify three-dimensional structures with unusual electrical conductivities. Both resistance and resistivity define how difficult it is to conduct electrical current through a material, but resistivity is an inherent feature, unlike resistance. This indicates that all pure copper wires, regardless of shape and size, have the same resistivity, despite the fact that a long, thin copper wire has a far higher resistance than a thick, short copper wire. The resistivity of each substance is unique. Rubber has a far higher resistivity than copper, for example. Passing current through a high resistivity material is analogous to pushing water through a sand-filled conduit, whereas pushing current through a low resistivity material is analogous to pushing water through an empty pipe. When the pipes are the same size and form, the sand-filled pipe has a larger flow resistance. The presence or lack of sand, on the other hand, has no bearing on resistance. It also relies on the pipe's length and width. Hence, shorter and wider pipes have less resistance than narrower and longer pipes. Resistivity depends only on temperature and material of the substance whereas resistance depends upon length, 
area, temperature as well as material.